Just a little FYI, FYF 20k sub, 6 months, what's next? They been hating at first, now they calling us the best Hit up YouTube, tell them cut the check It's a FYI, FYF 20k sub, 6 months, what's next? Woo, fuck your feelings We all know who the real is I been getting to it, ain't wasting no time Walking straight in, we ain't waiting in line Fuck your feelings, you don't care about mine You a YouTube gangster, don't be yelling out slime Or you talking LB, talking Tiki TV Ain't nobody watching them, all the viewers be sleep Five years in, all your subs is your friends Tiki TV, watch the cars again Just a little FYI, FYF 20k sub, 6 months, what's next? They been hating at first, now they calling us the best Hit up YouTube, tell them cut the check It's a FYI, FYF 20k sub, 6 months, what's next? Woo, fuck your feelings We all know who the real is all know Shop don't close, working 24, trying to make the channel grow. Look at them, pointing fingers, hating on the low. You can't compete with our podcast show. Couldn't make it in the league, so we got Hey, it's FYF Sports, man. It's Lamont. We back with another podcast reaction video. Hey, man, today we got a special video for you guys, man. I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. This may be something that you guys have already seen before. For me, it's new. I actually just kind of ran across this video on accident. And it just kind of coincides with a lot of the things that we talk about when we have our basketball discussions on our live stream. So uh, we're going to get into that here in a second. Before we get started, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you haven't done so already. We are grinding. Hey, man, this grinding 20K is something else. It's been slow and steady. You know, the views have been going up. Subscriber counts have been going up. The engagement has been through the roof, man. You guys are actively commenting on the videos you guys are sharing the videos um on all social media outlets you know whether it's facebook tumblr instagram uh you know all of these outlets you guys are sharing our media so we we appreciate you guys um definitely want to give a big salute um to all the viewers that are watching from twitch all the viewers that are watching from facebook live and also watching from the website blogs salute to everybody that's checking out our channel from all across the world hey but today Again, we're going to be talking about a new style and a new format of basketball that I just don't even know how it came across my timeline on YouTube. But as soon as I saw it, I said, this is crazy. This is high level, high competition basketball done the right way. And, and for me, this, this type of basketball could have went left in a number of ways. But it seems like they put the rules together beautifully. They selected the right competitors and it just made it. It just turned out to be a beautiful style of basketball. Um, and it's actually called fight ball. It's called fight ball. All right. All right. You guys can Google it. I'm sure you can find it. You can find it all across YouTube. Um, but I actually ran across the fight ball 1v1 finals for $10,000. Um, now you guys can go pull this up. I think they have a whole series. It was a whole tournament leading up You know, I think it was episodes one through eight. So make sure you guys go check that out But I'm gonna give you guys the rules to fight ball before we even get started um, So fight ball is basically and I'm gonna read it off man Just so I make sure I get it right for all the people this might new to it says fight ball is the most intense one-on-one -on -one basketball competition ever the game is played with two hoops 40-foot court and designed to produce faster, more intense, more physical and physically demanding game and result. All right. I, I loved it again. And, and the how they explained it is just how the game is played. It's fast paced. It's intense. And the guys are out there competing. All right. Now, this was all set up in uh, an eight play, eight player single elimination tournament. So I'm assuming these guys all had to qualify just to even participate in this major tournament that, that's been featured in this series. All right, so we got some more rules of the game. Um, each game, you know, the games are eight minutes long. You got two four-minute halves with a two-minute break in between halves. These guys got an eight-second shot clock. And they say the eight-second shot clock is to ensure intense and fast-paced action. All right, when you play fight ball, the pressure is on. That's what they say about the game. That's crazy. And again... When I go into this reaction video, you guys are going to see that I'm not capping about none of this. The game is just as intense as it sounds. So with regards to scoring, it says each basket earns to score one point except dunks. It says dunks are three points. So that's kind of the reversal. 
you get rewarded for getting to the rim and getting dunks. Dunks are three points. And it says shots taken in fight ball from two foot. Uh, it says shots taken from the fight ball two foot midline are two points. A two point midline shot only counts if a player has at least one, two, one foot in the two point zone. So I guess in the middle of the court, you guys will see this when they're playing. In the middle of the court, they have like a white line. It's called a two foot zone. All right. If you don't shoot in this zone, it's not worth two points. So you got dunks, three points. You have the white line going across the middle of the court. That's the two point zone. And then everything else is going to be worth one point. All right. The, now, here's the kicker. Here's the crazy thing about it. It says fouls, y'all. Fouls is the only fouls that they call are flagrant fouls. All right. Now, now they're, they're saying in the rules, they said think NBA in the 80s. Not today's NBA. It says each player is allowed two fouls per half. Upon committing the third foul in a half, the opponent gets one uh, free two-point shot from the midline. So once you get that third foul, and again, these fouls are only only flagrant fouls are considered fouls. Um, if you get to that third foul, then they get free throws from that midline. All right, it says players do get timeouts. They have rules for tight games, obviously delayed games. Injury timeouts, things of that nature, and then uh, this is this is the part that I love about this right here. This is the part that I love about it because with this type of physical basketball, things can escalate, tempers can flare, can can flare up, and this can get out of control. So they said they have a no tolerance. All right, they have a no tolerance, right, of violence whatsoever. It says a player must never engage in any violence whatsoever. If they do, they face automatic disqualification. So this is a game where your mental fortitude is going to get tested. All right, you got to play through fouls. It's rough. It's physical. But unlike, you know, when we talk about these 90s and 80s style of basketball, you hear everybody talking about, oh, it was physical. But when they say, oh, it was physical, they're only referring to, Oh, we will hard foul you, and then everybody get to throwing punches. See, and I told y'all in the live chat, when when you start having to get to physically fighting and, and really turning basketball into boxing matches, that's not basketball. Once you have to start throwing blows, you lost. All right? The other team's got you off your rocker. You off your square now. Throwing punches in the game of basketball, being a bully in the game of basketball is not a skill. Maintaining your composure and, 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 and maintaining your a high level of play that's the game of basketball. So that's the one rule that I love about this. So I think just like just like we did with everything from the 90s, we took another thing from the 90s and just did it better. The 90s is getting everything, every per, everything from the 90s is just getting ran through and getting made better by us. And salute to fight ball. So we're going to go ahead and get to this reaction video. I hope you enjoy it. We're going to commentate this game as best as possible. Uh, but man. This, I'm talking about, if you haven't watched it before, after you see this reaction video, this is something you definitely want to go stay in tune with. We're going to put the link to this video in the description if you want to go check it out later. But let's go ahead and get to the reaction. All right, so here we have it right here. I'm going to get to this reaction video, y'all. All right, just to let y'all know, we're going to be stopping it and we're going to keep it going. We're going to stop it and review certain aspects of this game because, you know, obviously, if you want to just watch the game in full nonstop, like I said, I'm going to leave a link to this video in the description of the chat, man. Salute to the producers of Fightball in this channel, man, because it looks like they got something special with this. Um, but what I want to do is, I again, I want to break down, are they bringing in real hoopers? Can these guys really hoop, you know, with along with the physicality, right? Like, how are they making this fun? Obviously, just by looking at this right here, you can tell that they've created, you know, they've created that, that environment. You know, that just that just feels like it's going to be a competitive 1v1 game. So let's go ahead and get to this reaction video, man. We got fight ball. Now, make sure you guys know this is the final, man. This is the fight ball 1v1 final. So both of these guys right here, they've went through multiple rounds to get to this final round. They're playing in the final for $10,000, man. So let's go ahead and get uh, to this reaction video the worthy opponent and i knew he was gonna play just as physical as i played i just had to overcome his physicality because i'm gonna play defense and i'm gonna be very physical when i play defense it's over 
Welcome to Fight Ball, the world's most intense one-on-one -on -one basketball competition. Let's do a quick recap. A Washington sent Team Murphy home. Lima sent the champ home. Now it's time. It's time for the final. SpongeBob to Lima. The Lima SpongeBob. It was the heavyweight battle everyone wanted to see. Put your hands together for A Washington. I just went through a hell of a workout preparing myself for this fight ball. It's one on one, so I have to work out one on one. And I gotta be ready to win. I think he's gonna do well. This is hey y'all. And again, y'all see both these guys is in, is in great condition and in great shape. And once you really see these guys get into action, you're going to see why when you come, like, for the future of fight ball and for all the people that actually get into this, like, like let's not act like it's just about physicality. These guys are in superior shape. Let's not even fake it like they look like a 90s place. They don't look nothing like 90s or 80s guys. Again, those guys were just foul you and fight. No discipline, no self-control, none of that, no skill. I'm talking about these guys is highly skilled, highly physical, and it makes it makes for a crazy game. Let's go ahead and get to this though. It's his kind of game. People fear him based on his physicality, based on the fact that he's gonna go through you and then over you. All the hard work and the stuff I do behind closed doors that nobody get to see. Trabalho, meu esforço, minha dedicação, não? I need y'all to make some noise for me, New York City! Keep it clean as possible. This is for the big money. Going into the final matchup, it was very physical, and I knew that Leandro, you know, he's a worthy opponent as well, and I knew he was going to play just as physical as I played. Uh oh. Yeah, SpongeBob. Yeah. He, oh, look at, oh, he's a oh, holy cook. dude. Cook. No money. Rebound, SpongeBob. Oh, get your weight up. He's no. Did y'all see that? See, it that was just like an unintentional foul, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna pull that back here because like normally, in, in, in like today's NBA, the way that would have been called, right? This same shot right here. Obviously, when you land in somebody's landing zone, you know, in today's NBA, that's automatically a foul. I mean, dude contested the shot. He got it off, but they don't worry about that little petty shit. You know, once you come, you come down however you got to come down. He contested it, made it keep it moving, man. That's what I like Money. about this. Rebound, SpongeBob. Oh, get your weight up. He's no pushover. Oh. Ooh. One foul, hold it up. You see? Only intentional flagrant type fouls. That's the only thing they get called. And he and he had to foul him there. See, that's why that's what that's what's so crazy about this game. If somebody gets a breakaway dunk and they about to a dunk is three points. Unlike in today's game, if somebody get a, a free reign to the basket, you might as well just give them the two points. You can keep it pushing. Dunk is a three. You gotta stop people. You, you can't give up them threes in this game. And especially in an eight minute game. <laughs> Joga muito intenso e não dava muito bem para desenvolver uma estratégia contra ele, porque afinal ele também estava resistente. I just had to overcome his physicality and I just, you know, I hit a couple Ooh. jump shots and got me the edge. Uh oh, Lima. And that's only one point shooting threes like that. Only one point. Crazy. Let's go! You gotta play better than that! Let's go! Wow! 
Lima down by three. Lima, Lima, too little Lima. That's three, right? We shoot now, one shot. Lima, the player, mijo, half time. Eu tava com a estratégia de deixar ele cansado e tinha conseguido, mas esse intervalo fez com que ele recuperasse o fôlego e continuasse aguentando mais. Man, these boys is playing right here. I ain't gonna lie. A lot of guys in this fight ball tournament, Keep playing. they don't put as much effort on defense as they do on offense. And with mm. me, it's opposite. I put more effort on defense than I do on offense. Body, don't rap, don't rap. Shot clock violation. Ooh, how they let that go? I like that. Go, Mike, you got to get into this. You can play this, go, Mike. Oh, 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 damn. It's over. Ah, ah, ah. Eu acho que desse yeah. vídeo ele mesmo foi o momento que parou porque a água caiu na quadra. With the ice spill, I don't know what happened. I was locked in on the game. I wasn't really worried about it, but I'm glad it happened because I got a little break, got a little <sighs> catch my win. I didn't have to waste the time out. Acho que a água favoreceu muito ele. Ele teve uma certa vantagem nisso porque Ele tava mais cansado do que eu e eu tava tentando deixar ele cansado. Oh, get your weight up! He's no pushover! E a salvação. <risos> uh, wow! He is not playing! You better put your work in! Sponge! <risos> I play defense, so I wasn't really worried about too much about. And see, it's crazy with this guy. I don't mean to keep stopping it, but it's crazy because he he's shooting some bombs. I'm talking about some bombs from deep, and all you get is one point for those. It's the complete opposite. Today's NBA, you get rewarded for chucking up them bombs. You get no reward at all for chucking up threes in this league. You got to go to the basket, and if you can't dunk, ain't no threes allowed for you at all. You because y'all y'all saw when he blew by big homie. And got to the lane. He just gave him the one point layup because he know dude can't dunk. Dude, dude has no. So if you little and you can't, if you ain't got no hops, you might mess around and get ran through in this league. Because you go up against a big man, he just gonna be booming on you all day. You better be. You better have some physicality on defense, right, to be able to withstand what he doing in the post to at least make him make layups for the one or stop him from dunking the ball. That's crazy. I, I love these rules. And it's different. And the main thing is, it's as physical as it's getting. It ain't getting violent. We don't need none of that goofy nonsense. Um, and these guys is going back and forth competing. I'll be giving them the lead. Once I get the lead, I'm going to play defense. Let's go, Liam. I 10,000 on the line. I hope you came for the money. Liam! Let's go. Liam. Liam. Two pointer. Liam. No boy in on me, ho. That's three. He's shooting. Liam. Uh-oh, down by one. This looked like what happened the game before, right? 34 seconds on the clock. Oh, nothing no. easy. Oh. I wasn't really worried about nobody really scoring on me because I'm going to play defense, and I'm going to be very physical when I play defense. So once I get the lead, if I can, you know, run the clock out, then, you know, that's pretty much what I tried to do. Wow, that's a turnover. When you're looking at the clock. That's a like turnover. A basketball player, no matter what the setting is, and I kind of just took advantage of certain rules and certain technicalities that I could to my advantage. Six, five, four, three, two, one. That's halftime. Wow. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the 10,000 tonight goes to my man, A. Washington, a.k.a. Sponge Brown! The upcoming final tournament, I'm just going to focus, lock in, and be prepared. I know that it's a whole different ball game playing for 100,000 than it is playing for 10,000. From the feds to fight ball, baby. They don't understand the struggle. They don't understand the struggle. I ain't had no trainer. I ain't had nothing. Nobody understand I was in the ground, in the trenches, working two, three times a day. Tomorrow morning, I'm back in the lab like I didn't win. Like, 6 o'clock okay. in the morning, I'm going to get up, go train. In the evening, I'm going to go train. At night, I'm going to go train. I don't feel like I won anything. The ten thousand dollars for me isn't the awesome to go. The awesome to go is the hundred thousand. Congratulations, SpongeBob! You're moving on to the finals.
where you'll be joined by the other Fightball 02 NYC semifinalists. And that's that's Fightball for you right there. That's Fightball for you right there. I had to do a reaction to this. I want y'all to let me know in the chat what do y'all think about Fightball, man. And if you want to check out some of the other matches, because it was some other games that like really came down to the wire. That this last game was just kind of slower paced. Guys was this game, this last game was a little bit more physical and lower scoring because these guys was really getting after it defensively. It's other games where it's been some crazy buzzer beaters, man. Guys is getting more intense, you know, more physical. Hey man, just let me know what you think about it. Because again, just like the big three, it brings another element to the game of basketball. So if you are one of those people that want this physical style of basketball, it's something out there for you now. If you if you if you, if you may be one of them leftovers from the 90s and you think you got a little gas in your tank and you and you wanna and you wanna compete and you wanna be physical and not worry about that fouling, I wanna see y'all step in with some of these guys in fight ball and we can really see if y'all can hoop in the same way that y'all talk about. It's a lot of people that talk about Oh, they, you know, Jordan and them played in this physical style and we played tougher. Hey, man, all y'all, all y'all leftovers from the 90s, fight ball may be for y'all. Because as it stands right now, I just see young people jumping into it and they coming into it with a level of competition that's far supersede anything that y'all was bringing. Because the level of competition that they bringing, they stand a little bit more poised and distant because they can get physical. They can, they can, they, they can, and, and still maintain their composure, right? Because this style of ball is gonna test you mentally. When you got guys hugging you the whole time, pushing you to the ground, being extra physical with you, you might take some hard, flagrant type fouls. And the only thing you get is one shot from a white line for two points. All right, threes don't count for nothing. If you a sharp shooter, all you getting is one point. If you a guy that can bang and you can dunk, you getting rewarded with the three points. It's like the complete opposite of what basketball is supposed to be, but in an organized fashion. I mean, salute to the people that came up with this. I think it was a great idea, man. I, I, I love the concept of fight ball, man. I'm definitely a fan now. I'm definitely subscribed to that channel. Again, the link to this video and the link to this particular channel, right, that creates that's, that created fight ball is going to be in the description of this video, man. Y'all need to go check them out, man. Uh, because salute to them, man. Just creating a new wave of basketball. And obviously, this was a this was a wave of basketball that wasn't filled. You got it's like we did now covered everything. We got the big three, obviously. The big three is for you know players slightly past their prime, maybe older, retired NBA guys that got a little clout to their name. They can hop in the big three and play three on three half court ball with. You know, with Ice Cube, you know, Ice Cube created that league. That turned out to be an instant sensation. Um, we also got the TBT tournament, the, the the million dollar tournament, when you got just regular Joes to overseas players putting teams together to come together in an epic tournament to play for a million dollars. That's crazy. That's exciting. And they play with overseas rules, so the rules are slightly different there. Those tournaments are always crazy. They're exciting. Um, we got fight ball all right and obviously we got the nba it's it's like it's now especially since one thing that i've seen since the pandemic has hit is like everybody's creativity has been going through the roof man we got fight ball we got the tbt we got the nba we got college basketball basically is whatever you want whatever you like in this sport man people is out there creating it man so yeah y'all salute to fight ball let me know in the comments what y'all think about this i mean if y'all love it it's a lot more videos of fight ball that I could react to, man, because this league looks like it. That's where it's at, man. Yeah. And, and, and I, hey, they get my vote. I, I, I like that. I like fight ball, man. I support that, man. I'm definitely subscribed. Hey, but it's been, a, hey, it's been another great reaction video. Um, hey, man, we're gonna be doing a live stream tonight, man. You, as you guys always know, man, the t the topics always random. Well, we never know what we're gonna come with. Probably going to be something fresh and live. Hey, I'm just letting you guys know we're going to be starting something new here on FYF Sports. Um, and it, this is just really a trial run because I want to see how it's done. I've seen the other people, a couple, you know, I've seen other people do it. But, you know, we here at FYF Sports, we like to take things to the next level. We, you know, we like to do things bigger and better. But we're going to be starting our live NBA scoreboards. All right, we're going to have a live stream running. Whenever the NBA games start, we're going to have our live scoreboard running. So for the people that you might be at work or whatever, or if you just want to tune in and you want to listen to music, go tune into our live NBA scoreboard. So 
the one thing that we're adding to our live NBA scoreboard is we're, we're actually going to turn our live NBA scoreboard into a live radio station here on YouTube. So Water Scoreboard is playing, man. If you're an artist out there, if you like a, if you if you're a new artist, if you're a new artist with a with a new EP, new album, and you want to get your music some airtime, you know we 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 going on 20k subscribers. We got our NBA Live Scoreboard. So Water Scoreboard is going. We gonna have different artists featured. So we gonna have different artists playing their albums, their tracks. All right, a combination of artists. So man, if, if you a musician out there, and, and again, if you want to get to get your music pushed or, or a new album pushed, man, hit us up at fyfsports.com. All of the information is gonna be in the description of the video. You wanna you wanna send us an email at business at fyfsports.com. I mean, you can chop it up with us, and we can we can kind of let you know what it's gonna take to get your album on our NBA live streams, man. Because again, it's about putting what y'all do out there as well. I mean, as you guys already know, we got you know we feature a few artists on some of our videos when we talking about guys like Spiffy Lil Kenny. But I want to have a dedicated stream just for new artists trying to bump feature their music. So the the, the NBA scoreboard this is actually gonna start tomorrow. Now tomorrow. I don't know if we're gonna have a lot of artists. Um, I think right now we got about seven with you know a couple different albums and EPs ready to go. So, but we got we are definitely gonna start. Uh, we're definitely gonna start that NBA scoreboard. But like I said, it's also gonna be a, a live radio station, so you can tune in. And as y'all know, I'm I'm with the music game. I'm I'm letting y'all know I'm tired of all of the mainstream music, man. The mainstream music, the little Uzis and all these people, little babies. It's really starting all to sound the same to me. And it's it's some new fresh people out here in hip hop that that's coming with new sounds. They actually coming with real lyrics, real bars, all of that. Um, and they just not heard of. I mean, they kind of hitting the way on SoundCloud or they not getting the streams on Spotify. Man, we here to 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 help them guys get some exposure because, to be honest, it's the little guys bringing out the best music right now. Because the guys at the top right now are just sounding too dull, man. Like when we talking about the mainstream Drakes and all these guys, y'all got y'all need to step up y'all game. Because I'm really kind of getting bored with the music game right now. You guys ain't really coming with nothing too fresh. So make sure, man, if you're an artist, if you got any music that you're trying to push, man, hit us up at business at fyfsports.com. All our contact information is gonna be in the description of this video. Right, hit us up, and we're gonna let you know what it's gonna take to get your music on our NBA score on, on our NBA scoreboard. All right, and we can chop it up from there. So every day, man, it's always gonna be something new with FYF Sports. We continue to grind, we continuing to grow. We're gonna be bringing, you know, obviously, you know, we upgrading the quality and the content of everything that we do. We coming bigger, stronger than ever. Because I mean, what else do you expect, man, when you're dealing with the really when you literally dealing with the best sports podcast on YouTube? All right, when you're dealing with this best sports podcast on YouTube, who really do it like FYF Sports? I want y'all to really tell me. I'm talking about from, from the quality of the content, from the editing to the graphics, man. Really, it's really untouchable, and it's only getting better. Hey, so it's FYF Sports, man. It's been another great podcast episode. We're going to be back with another epic live stream tonight. Make sure you guys smash the like button, hit the subscribe. All right, hit that notification bell so you can be up to date with everything that we drop. All right, don't hesitate. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter as well. All of that information, all of the links are going to be in the description of the video. But until then, it's FYF Sports. We all know who the real is. I be getting to it, ain't wasting no time. Walking straight in, we ain't waiting in line. Fuck your feelings, you don't care about mine. You a YouTube gangster, don't be yelling out slime. Or you talking LB, talking Tinky TV. Ain't nobody watching them. All the viewers be sleep. Five years in, all your subs is your friends. Take a TV, watch the cars again. Damn. Just a little FYI, FYF. 20k subs, six months. What's next? They been hating at first. Now they calling us the best. Hit up YouTube, tell them cut the check. It's a FYI, FYF. 20k subs, six months. What's next? Woo! Fuck your feelings. We all know who the real is. They all know. Shop don't close. Working 24, trying to make the channel grow. Look at them. Pointing fingers, hating on the low. You can't compete without power. Podcast show couldn't make it in the league, so we got on TV. Crying by LeBron like a little baby. You must be crazy trying to ever play me. Oh, you super tough, tough until it's time to say cheese. Just a little FYI, FYF. 20k sub, six months. What's next? They been hating at first. Now they calling us the best. Hit up YouTube, tell them cut the check. It's a FYI, FYF. 20k sub, six months. What's next? Woo! Fuck.